Hey everyone, the name's Eric Thor, and I'm here to talk about the king of YouTube, PewDiePie, and what made him hit more than 50 million subscribers. I've seen him, his success being discussed uh, in so many videos and articles, but I've seen few discuss how his personality has contributed to his success as a YouTube star. Here's my question to you. Do you think that you need to be an extrovert to succeed in this online atmosphere? How creative do you think a person needs to be to deliver the new content and the creative content that gets viewers and that gets viewer to, viewers to feel entertained and to stay? And do you think that empathy or intelligence is more important to succeed as an online actor or a star? So PewDiePie has recently shifted his content a lot, going from being a video game uh, <laughs> entertainer towards being much more of a comedian, a mature comedian as he would call it, and public speaker. And he's been getting some bad press too, especially for some potentially racist jokes and some insensitive statements. But still, often he is a loved figure in the media and he has a lot of support from his fans. Let's take a look at how he defends himself from bad media, and bad PR. I think what this article shows more than anything, old school media does not like internet personalities because they're scared of us. We have so much influence and such a large voice and I don't think they understand it and that's why they keep this approach to us. What's visible in PewDiePie is that he is a person that dislikes shallowness. The discussions we've been getting from PewDiePie of late have been far from shallow. They've been private, they've been uh, about him and his personal issues and his uh, personal experiences, and they've often been of a deeper or a psychological level even. And it's almost like two generations of people arguing whether this is okay or not. PewDiePie shows a high depth and nuance of perspective in his analysis of the world and of uh, real world issues. And I think that early PewDiePie created a persona of himself that was more shallow, fun and outgoing. But I think that later on he started to feel misunderstood because of it. It always just comes back to the money. Which is funny because that's something I've never showed in anyone's faces. And there you go. That's the title. Wall Street Journal, YouTube's biggest draw plays games, earns 4 million a year. He's clearly not in it for the money. He started doing it when it was completely <laughs> unprofitable, he never thought it would lead anywhere. He did it because he enjoyed gaming and because he enjoyed making videos. I love to push boundaries, but I would consider myself a rookie comedian. And I've definitely made mistakes like this before. Something else we notice from PewDiePie's pressure is that he is not a stranger to apologizing if he doesn't make a mistake or if he goes too far with something. Truly, managing your online persona, making sure it doesn't spin out of control, that must be hard work for an online YouTuber like PewDiePie, especially when uh, the bigger you get, you get, the more easily misunderstood you are. PewDiePie actually strikes me as one of the many outgoing introverts in the public atmosphere. He's a public speaker and he seems to love what he does, he seems to love engaging people and communicating with people, but not as much interacting with people. He shows a level of sensitivity that a lot of other celebrities don't. He cares about things that most others would just shrug out or joke about or talk shit about. He appears to feel misunderstood at times, but he appears to work hard to make sure that people do understand him and that people do know where he's coming from. Beyond this, PewDiePie is an independent figure, an independent and goal-oriented figure. Beyond this, PewDiePie seems like a very independent figure. Most of all, he seems to enjoy doing his own thing, away from other people, only rarely engaging in collabs. He's not a part of any bigger brand or a group like Smosh or other online groups. He rarely engages himself in confrontations or conflicts with other people, more than to defend himself from allegations from others. He seems to practice this level of non-interference where he only sets his foot down if he feels like other people are trying to attack him or to question his right to do whatever he wants. The level of freedom he pursues and the creativity is hallmark of intuitive types. His desire to connect to his bros but often while keeping a personal difference or a 
level away from others is hallmark of a feeling type and an introverted and feeling type for that matter. He enjoys to give to others and to share and to make other people happy, but he does not seem to want other people <laughs> to make him happy. What I'm saying is he enjoys engaging people from the safety of his window screen, but not necessarily at large conferences or social gatherings. PewDiePie's personality type strikes me most likely to be INFJ, introverted, intuitive, feeling, and judging. Believe me or not, but that's actually a common personality type for a lot of uh, online communicators. Judging is best described as the desire to want to move or engage other people, to have an impact on the world or on other people in some level or some way. And intuitive judging is a lot about self-direction, to work towards a new idea or towards a new project, often without knowing where you're headed. And often PewDiePie's way to success was thanks to this very function, because this function allowed him to go into an arena that so far had been completely <laughs> out of monetary uh, potential to pursue a project that he couldn't even explain to his friends to uh, suddenly becoming successful in a project that nobody has ever been successful in before. Truly, PewDiePie invented his own career and that is something that is very common to intuitive judging types. As YouTube in itself is uh, an intuitive bubble, a new bubble, a completely new project, a space that has only been around for a few years, most of the people you'll find on YouTube doing uh, YouTube successfully are these intuitive feeling types. You could describe the intuitive feeling types as the first waivers, usually the first people to appear to a new project. Only afterwards do the MTs come with the ideas of how to improve and all the recipes and strategies and tactics that you can use to manage the bubble. And only after that do the sensing feeling types come, uh, spreading the more popular videos, creating more social content and uh, setting up more community-based interaction. PewDiePie proves that you can succeed online as an introvert as long as you make sure that you manage your boundaries, that when other people start telling you what to do or how to do it, you set your own boundaries and you keep on your path. Similarly, he teaches uh, judging types to that goals do per ta uh, turn out to be correct sometimes, and that uh, sometimes you don't have to know what you're doing before you succeed. Sometimes you succeed because you are, you are walking a new path and just walking a new path in itself makes you attractive or uh, worthy of praise. If you have this new project that you're working on but that is hard to explain to others, well, don't be scared of it. Sometimes uh, that will actually help you succeed because if you're doing what everyone else is doing, then chances are nobody's going to find what you do interesting. You do definitely need a level of creativity and empathy to manage this bubble though. You need to know what to say and what not to say. You need to know how to be sensitive in personal issues and issues with other people. You'll want to avoid creating too much controversy or negative stir around yourself. You want to appear as a reasonable person that wants to do well, succeed. You'll want a fan base or a level of support that can protect you if you are facing controversy or negative issues in life because negative things will happen. You will say bad, bad things, you will make mistakes. And then having a level of faith from other people is important to make sure you can move on. I think that as an introverted and goal-oriented personality type, you'll want to make sure that nobody is telling you what to do or nobody is uh, distracting you too much from your goal. Because uh, the more distracted you get and the more you start doubting yourself and your path and the more you start uh, shying away from it on all kinds of this manner of side issues, uh, the chances are the less likely you are to succeed with what you do. Now, INFJs are not the only types that I think will be and have been very successful in media. I think that feeling judging types overall make gifted communicators, great at swaying and persuading other people, great at managing an audience and managing your community. I also think that being a feeling and an extroverted type can help a lot of people because uh, if you have that openness to other people and that understanding of your crowd and your support base, that can help you also succeed in uh, managing communities. And I think that's one of the next big things YouTubers will have to learn. The big challenge for PewDiePie 
as a feeling in the introverted type uh, was in many ways not alienating his own fan base. Uh, when he d started doing new things, when he started pursuing new projects, when he started expressing new opinions and changing himself, which happens a lot for INFJs, uh, he kept his fan base around him and he uh, man maintained the trust and support from others and he explained himself and why he changed and why he transformed and he helped other people hit that level as well. The worst thing that could have happened to PewDiePie when all these uh, conflicts started coming up was that he could have uh, hardened up and he could have toughened up and he could have gone, I don't care about only this and this is just stupid. He could have gotten restless and anxious and scattered and chaotic and started doing stupid shit and uh, making too quick or reckless moves. Or he could have tuned off completely and stopped making videos and started saying, oh, I don't really want to do this anymore pretending that he didn't care about it, because he obviously still cares about it. And I definitely think that PewDiePie has shown problems with this in the past, but I think that on the whole, he has managed to keep himself moving forward, and he has been able to change, and he has been able to keep his fan base no matter what has happened. And that speaks to being a gifted communicator, and to him deserving the number one spot on YouTube. So now, what are your thoughts on PewDiePie? What do you think about him? What do you think his personality is like? And what do you think was uh, the most important uh, personality trait related to his success in YouTube? I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope to see you guys tomorrow.